Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I'm feeling like an astronaut, that's for sure. Where are we and what are we going to be doing today? Here we are, Newark Airport, and we're going to be going up in zero gravity on G-Force 1. And you're going to get the same experience as it people on the ISS have. Zero Gravity Corporation uses a modified Boeing 727 flying in parabolic motion to create multiple spurts of weightlessness. Richard Branson acclimated himself to zero Gs on one before he went into space, as did the crew of Inspiration 4, the first all-civilian flight into orbit. You don't want your first experience in, in zero gravity to be in space, and it's a very unique feeling, and this gives them the framework to understand it. I'm a little nervous. We all know that flying on a rocket ship is dangerous, but how dangerous are these flights? There's no risk or danger in what we do. We've flown 17,000 passengers over the last 16 years, not one injury and not one issue. So we have all the same regulation, safety, everything as that United flight does. Unlike Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson's flights, this plane isn't on a rocket aimed at space. An airspace of 10 miles by 100 miles is cleared for a G-Force One flight. There's a lot of talk about these suborbital flights democratizing space, but is this experience the closest thing that, you know, a normal person, a normal person will ever uh, experience? Yeah, the price point, I mean, no one would say $7,500 is cheap. cheap but but it's accessible. It's a lot less than $28 million. What is the value of the weightlessness experience? Like, Is this just for thrill seekers or is there real research value to these flights? Right now, I would say half of it is research and then the other half is consumer facing. We've done things that are literally on the cutting edge for space, testing out how to do 3D printing in microgravity. We've done experiments in, in how to animate freeze-dried blood. To go out and test things in zero gravity or microgravity in space, prohibitively expensive and not realistic. Oh, oh my God. 